And finally this evening, a window of light from an otherwise troubled place. Originally from Iran, Pastor Harmoz Shariat is joining us here to report on something you wouldn't otherwise hear about in the news, the growth of Christianity inside Iran. In fact, the evangelical population is doubling every four years. Well, welcome to Centerpoint, Pastor. It's good to have you. Thank you so much, Rob, for allowing me to share. You know, so I grew up, I was 12 when the Iranian hostage crisis happened, when the Americans for 444 days were held in the embassy. So my vision, and I think most people of my generation's vision of Iran is, is not a good one. And clearly Iran right now is a nation that people should be worried about as they're trying to get a nuclear bomb. What would you say to Americans about Iran, the country with a theocracy, and the Iranian people? Well, you've got to change your mind about Iran because there's a revolution going on in Iran today. Um, 40 years of Islamic rule. Uh, at the beginning, Iranians and Muslims were ready to live and die for Allah. And they did in the Iran-Iraq war. But 40 years of experiencing Islam has brought the people of Iran to the point that they say, Islam is not our solution. Islam is our problem and we need to get rid of it. And you see that on the streets of Iran today. So change your mind. <laughs> Iran is changing. The people of Iran are, ch are different than the government of Iran, as you mentioned. The government says death to America. The people of Iran say, we love America. And you saw that in Iran, Iraq, uh, Iran and US soccer game recently. You saw Iranian team lost and the people were on the streets celebrating the US victory. You see, that, I find that amazing because I find it such a strange question when people say, who are you rooting for in the World Cup? I'm like, America, of course, I'm an American. And some people are like, no, you know, I'm rooting for Brazil, I'm rooting for England, whoever. The Iranian people were not rooting for Iran because they were of their rooting for, US. for their government? Because they are done with the government, they are done with Islam, and anything the government says, they're against it. They say death to America, we say we love America. Death to Israel, we love Israel. And that's why uh, in that game, they took the side of US and they routed. And when the US won, they were on streets celebrating. They are done with Islam and Islamic government. That's why Iran has the fastest growing evangelical population in the world. And it has speed up, uh, speed up recently. You know, it used to be uh, hundreds per month we had salvation. Since the COVID, the last two years, we have, we have several thousand a month of registered salvation. We have more salvation the last two years than the previous 18 years. So things are speeding up and Iran, it will not be an Islamic nation anymore. Can I shock you? Now, go ahead. Okay. Let, what you, let you me just did you. actually when you said it's not going to be an Islamic <laughs> nation. I mean, that, that would take a, a lot. Yeah. Well, I, I make this outrageous <laughs> statement, but I, I have to back it up. Iran will be a Christian nation. People say, what? What's what the population of Christianity right now in Iran? Some say two, three, four million uh, people. And percentage? All Muslim background. Percentage of, of the country, that would be what? That about? would be uh, up to 10%. Okay, so it's, it's a long way to go. When I say Iran will be a Christian nation, they say, oh, you're exaggerating. Where did you get that idea? I say, I stole it. <laughs> where, did you, where did you steal it from? From the Lord in Jeremiah 49, 38. Jeremiah 49, 38, he says, I will set my throne in Elam, which is completely inside the land of Iran. So we know, according to the Bible, Ezekiel 38, there will be a war. But Jeremiah 49, we know that the Lord will set his throne in Iran. So good and bad happening at the same time. So Iran will be a Christian nation. It will impact the whole Middle East and the whole world. They're so open to the message of Christianity. They're open to everything. So Eastern religion, New Age, but uh, Christian message, they are very attracted to. They have written their God's word in their hearts and their lives, and they see visions and dreams. So when we share the message of the gospel, it resonates with what's already in their heart. That's why we see such a high rate of conversion, and we have passed the conversion we are at the verge of establishing God's kingdom in Iran. The church is growing fast and they need our help to disciple them, help them to be a healthy church that impacts Iran, the Middle East, and even the whole world, according to Jeremiah 49, 38. So if they're in Iran right now, 
how would they attend religious services? They don't. We have an online church service, most popular hour of the week. We are their church. They consider me, millions of them, consider me their pastor. That's a privilege. Yeah. But also there is a responsibility for me and you to be the voice of God and to help them, to equip them, to empower them so Iranian Christians will change, not only Iran, but the whole Middle East. Well, you certainly know about Iran. You fled, you and your family fled it during the revolution and your brother gave his life, um, politically stupid charge, and yet he was killed for it. So you know what you're talking about. It's in your heart, but it's also your passion now in life. And I wish you the best of luck bringing Christianity to a part of the world that, that certainly needs some hope. Doctor, thank you so much. And that's it for Center Point tonight. Stay tuned to TBN. I'm Rob Astorino. For the great crew that puts this program together, have a good night. Hope to see you again tomorrow.